morning paid for its tigers today, February 15, 2018. It's, it's Thrilling Thursday. Thursday! My name is Kylie Jordan, broadcasting from WPFE. And I am Julia Branch, and we are from Ms. Dockery's fourth, fourth grade, grade class. class. Thanks for tuning in. It's the new day, Tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. My name is Terrence Harris from Mr. Neal's fifth grade class. Please stand and say for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. Peyton's Tiger, remember that an idiom is a figurative saying. The words that are put together have a special meaning. When people use idiom, they do not mean exactly what they say. The idiom of the week is, I am having a change of heart. If some has a change of heart, it means they have changed their mind or opinion about something. For example, my dad planned to sell our house, but he, changed, he had a change of heart at the last minute. Have you been studying your multiplication facts? If so, you should be moving up on the multiplication master board. When you increase to the next level, you will earn a new pen for your master page. Remember to study, study, study to learn the math facts, tigers. Class, this week is National Random Acts of Kindness Week. We perform random acts of kindness when we go beyond what is expected of us and reach out to help another person. There are hundreds of ways to show someone that you care. This week, look for opportunities to show that you care by performing a random acts of kindness. The culture focus for the month of February is honesty. Students who are honest speak the truth. Honesty means you don't say things about people that aren't true. You are not being honest if you make up rumors about someone or if you share rumors someone else made up. Being honest means you admit to your actions even, you, even if you'll get in trouble. February is the perfect time to demonstrate honesty and earn those culture tickets. Have you been studying your multiplication facts? If so, you should be moving up on the multiplication master board. When you increase to the next level, you will earn a new pen for your master page. Remember to study, study, study to learn the math facts, tigers. Buenos dias, estudiantes. Boys and girls, that means good morning students in Spanish. Why is Ms. Gunner speaking in Spanish? You see where I am? I am standing in front of the South America wall in the third grade hall. And a lot of countries in South America speak Spanish. So that's all I know right now, but I'm going to keep learning. Boys and girls, if you haven't paid attention on every grade level, it starts with kindergarten in Atlanta and it goes all the way to fifth grade for Europe. Pass by, see what you can learn on one of these walls. Why are we doing that? Because Peyton Forest is an IB school and we celebrate all the countries and continents all over the world. All right, boys and girls, let's see. We have movie night coming on Friday. Are you staying? We're gonna have movies, you're gonna have drinks, we're gonna have food, so you better bring your permission slip and your money if you wanna stay. Um, boys and girls, remember we're a uniform school. I've seen a lot of boys and girls kind of half uniform, half not. Boys and girls, remember, every single day, that's how you get your class dojo points. And remember, it's called being honest this month. Woo, I got some good stuff in the Lit Lounge. I went in there last week. The boys and girls was having a good time. If you haven't come lately, you have to be caught being honest. Okay, my favorite part, the books. You know it's Black History Month, right? Does anybody remember who created Black History Month? Carter G. Woodson in 1926, remember? The first book is, Do You Know What I'll Do? This is about a little girl and her brother and all the fun they have at home. Come and get this book. We have another book in honor of Black History Month. This is called The Mighty Miss Malone. This is by Christopher Paul Curtis. He's the same guy that wrote my favorite book, The Watson's Go to Birmingham. And he also wrote Dr. Akbar's favorite book, But Not Buddy. This is about a little 12-year-old girl named Deza and her brother, Jimmy. 
This is happening during the Great Depression. Do you know when the Great Depression is? Guess what? 1929. It's when all over the world, well, all over this country, people lost their jobs. They didn't have any money. They didn't have anywhere to live. And this story is about Deza and Jimmy going to school and making a way, even though times are hard. Come and get this book. And my last one, I really like this one, boys and girls. This one's called Among the Hidden. This is about some children called the Shadow Children. Luke has never been to school. He doesn't have any friends. He's never gone to a sleepover. He lives in the woods. It's during a time where people aren't allowed to have kids. One day, Luke sneaks out in the middle of the woods and he sees a little girl through a window. Could she be a shadow child too? Luke wants to know what is going to happen with Luke and the girl that he sees through the window. Boys and girls, remember to count those AR points. Remember to count the number of words you read. Remember DeMarco Person. He has a million words. We're going to iFly. Who will it be next? If you get to a million words, I'll take you anywhere in Atlanta you want to go. And last but not least, boys and girls, don't forget our Wild About Words wall in the commons area. Remember having a tenacious grip. Remember all the words scampering around. Do you remember those words, boys and girls? And this week we have one called enthusiastic. Do you know what enthusiastic means? Let me know when I see you. Boys and girls, I love you. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way. Good morning, boys and girls. Are you still rolling in with positive behavior? I sure hope so. When I look at my buses, I thought they were moving. 631A and 631B were almost at the finish line and they just stopped. What happened? You didn't want your prize or did you forget about your positive behavior? You have to make sure you remember each and every day to walk straight to your seat, sit with your legs facing forward, speak in quiet voices, and keep the aisles clear. That's the only way you'll be safe on the bus. No fighting on a bus, and remember to always be respectful to your bus driver. They have feelings too, and they don't want to have to drive you home and possibly hurt you because you're not doing what you're supposed to do and having positive behavior on the bus. Now, let's look at our bus this So who's going to catch 631A and 631B? Is it going to be 591A, they've already gotten started, or is it going to be 591B, 732, or 723? Whoever gets to the end first, you'll have hot wings and pizza on me. But you have to make it to the end, so who's going to be the winner? We'll see. Ralph J. Bunch, a politician and a UN diplomat, was the first African American to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1950 for mediating the Arab-Israeli truce. 